Hello guys, it's Jedi Bob 23 here, and today I have a review for you. Uh, it's the Lego Star Wars Sith Troopers Battle Pack. It retailed for $15 um, in the United States. Uh, set number 75266, and came with 105 pieces. Uh, it also included four minifigures, so I guess let's get started with those minifigures. Okay, the first figure is the Sith Trooper himself, uh, the main reason you guys are probably going to buy this battle pack. Um, so yeah, uh, he's a pretty good figure, I would say. I don't know, I, I think he's pretty good. Uh, really cool trooper from the Rise of Skywalker. Comes with this uh, stud shooter, they all come with stud shooters, which, I mean, aren't the best. But he's got some good detail, mainly black, cool helmet mold, nice back printing. Uh, I think they all have angry clone face except for the the next figure that you'll see, but we'll see that in a minute. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, the next figure is um, the Sith officer, I guess, the Sith Legion officer. Um, he's pretty cool. Everybody complains about how they don't like the like the Star Wars like Imperial or I guess First Order officer figures in battle packs. I don't really care for them if they do more than one in a battle pack, but I actually like them if they include one. I don't know, it just... I, I like them, I don't know what to say, I just feel like they're, they're pretty good. He's got some nice back printing, it's like a shiny badge on his left. Um, also his belt's kind of shiny with the Sith limb logo, and also on the head. Shiny Sith Trooper logo. Um, yeah, pretty cool figure, nice little officer figure, and uh, I would say he's a good figure. Okay, the last figure uh, that comes in this set is the Sith uh, Rocket Trooper. Uh, he is very interesting because he doesn't, he, he's not very, like, in much of the promotional, like, stuff for The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, and he gets a very brief screen time. Um, but I think he's pretty cool. And they include two in the set. I'm not going to show you the other one, but they, because they're exactly the same. But, um,. Yeah, so he has a very interesting helmet, which I'm pretty sure is the same mold as the uh, the First Order uh, Rocket Trooper from that Pisana Speeder Chase. Um, he also comes with a uh, jetpack, which has a stud insert right there. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, has some good printing on the front, and uh, Angry Clone head, like all the other ones. So yeah, um... Let's move on to the actual build of the set. Okay, so this is the uh, the build of the set. It's this little, like, speeder. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it can hold three people comfortably. You could probably sit somebody on one of the last um, rocket trooper on one of the jumpers right here. But, uh, yeah, it has a seat right here, a seat right here. I'm pretty sure this is a driver's seat because it has a uh, this little, um, like, nozzle piece. It's like a lever. Um, you can put the uh, one of the stud shooters in the front here on this um, little like, hinged clip thing. That can just, you know, so it can shoot. Uh, and then you can put a trooper to man that. Um, I put a uh, one of the nozzle pieces on the back of uh, this gun to make it look like it had a handle. It's really, I guess, supposed to be like a stock, but uh, I think it would be pretty cool as a handle. Um, yeah, so it has, you know, some these interesting, like, engines with the uh, trans... Uh, blue uh, cylinder pieces. Uh, they can spin, I guess, if you want them to. Uh, it's interesting from the back. You know, it's just got a couple of grills back there. Um, yeah, it's got some nice angles. Has uh, this inverted slope piece kind of thing uh, to help it glide better. And I don't know, I actually really like this speeder. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it looks interesting if you take the figures out. Like I don't know, I just it looks like it has a lot more space in it. Like you can, and honestly, if you took the gun out, you could probably fit two figures in the front. But then yeah, it has the two seats right there. So I guess uh, let's move on to the 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 final thoughts. Okay, so I think this uh, set is a very good set. I would say it's a definitely a good battle pack. Comes with some great figures. Comes with uh, the Sith Trooper in a cheap set. The only other set it comes in is the Kylo Ren's Command uh, Shuttle, uh, the new one from uh, 2019. Comes with some two great exclusive Rocket Troopers right here. Uh, I think they look very nice. Um, 
also comes with a really cool uh, First Order Officer uh, figure, which is also exclusive to this set. The speeder is pretty nice. Um, I mean, it's a speeder. It holds three people, which is kind of cool. Um, of course, like all battle packs, it comes with stud shooters, which is, eh, I mean, kind of unpopular. Um, but yeah, I think this is a great set. Uh, price per piece, 105 pieces for 15 bucks is not looking so good, but I mean, it's a battle pack. You're really buying this for the figures, and 15 bucks is kind of the standard battle pack price. So I, I see no problem with this set. It comes with three great exclusive figures. It comes with one non-exclusive but really cool figure, the Sith Trooper, which is probably the main reason why people are buying this set because, I mean, it's the best figure out of all three. I mean, honestly, I wish that they would put, um, exchange one of these Rocket Troopers out for another regular Sith Trooper. I just feel like that would be, I don't know, that, to me that seems like it would be a better trade, but... Who knows? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider uh, subscribing and leave a like on this video. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like me to try, leave them in the comments. Uh, and if I use your suggestion, you could get a shout out. Um, anyways, this has been Jedi Bob 23 I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.